Hello, welcome to Storytime. Today's book is titled Whose Feet? And it's written by Nina Hess and illustrated by John Kanzler. Okay, so what do we see? What do you see on the cover here? Do you see feet? Do you, can you find the feet that look like your feet? Okay, can you find the feet with the spots? Okay, whose feet might those be? What animal? Cheetah? Yeah, maybe a cheetah. Okay. And can you find the feet that we see on a duck? Okay, yep, there. And... Look at the feet in the top corner across from the cheetah feet. Whose feet are those? Actually, those feet look scary, huh? But we will see. So all of these feet belong to different kinds of animals, right? Even we are an animal. We are just a different kind of animal. And we all have different kinds of feet. Do you know why? Why might we have different kinds of feet? Why don't we have feet that look like duck feet? Hmm. Or why don't we have cheetah feet? So we're going to see each of these feet have a special purpose and are made unique and special for each animal. Okay, are you ready to read? Here we go. Feet can dig. Long, thick claws poke out of these toes. These feet dig out a brand new home. Whose feet can dig? Okay, so these feet have their long, thick claws because they're for digging, digging in the dirt. So what animal might this be? Can you guess what animal might it be? Let's see. Mole feet! Mole feet are made for digging. Their claws work like shovels. They help moles build a cozy place to sleep underground. So here, so why do moles have these long claws? Yeah, they help them to dig, right? Okay. Feet can dash on the hunt. These feet go fast. They leap, they dash, they will not slide. Whose feet can dash? Whose feet are these? Which animal is that? Cheetah feet! Cheetah feet are like soccer cleats. So soccer cleats are shoes that a soccer player might wear. Or So in America, they say soccer, but in UK, they say football. So it's the same sport. So these are cleats that the players wear on their feet so they don't slip in the grass. They have thick pads and short, strong claws. This keeps cheetahs from slipping as they race to catch their prey. So here, cheetah's feet are special because cheetahs need to run really fast. So they need their feet to have good grip and traction on the ground so they don't slip. Feet can hop, danger comes, no time to wait. These feet hop to find a hiding place. Whose feet can hop? Who can hop? Bunny feet! When scared, bunnies do not run. Instead, they hop. Their long feet make strong springs. 
Strong springs mean a fast getaway. So the bunny's back legs are really strong and really powerful so they can push themselves far and high and they can move really fast. So if they feel they are in danger or they are scared, they can hide quickly. Feet can hang right side up. These feet look frail. Frail means weak, not strong. But upside down, these feet hang on tight. Whose feet can hang? So which animal is this? Which animal can hang? Bat feet. They are like tiny hooks. Most bats cannot stand. Their legs are too weak. But bat feet are strong. They can hang from branches, beams, and even holes in rocks. So many bats cannot stand, but they can. What can they do? They can hang. Yeah, they can hang. So that's why we see bats hang and not stand. Feet can splash. Time to grab a snack down deep. These feet splash and flip upside down. Whose feet can splash? So whose feet can splash? What animal? The fish? No, fish doesn't have feet. Duck feet! Duck feet have skin between their toes. And so we call these webbed feet. These webbed feet act like paddles. A paddle is something we use to move a boat. If we're sitting in a boat and we want to move on the water, we can use the paddle with our hand to move the boat. They help ducks flip and swim under the water. There, ducks can snatch, snatch means to grab, bits of grass to eat. Yeah, so these feet are really important for ducks, right? These feet help ducks to swim and to move easily in the water because they have the webbed feet. If they didn't have webbed feet, it would be really difficult for them to swim. Feet can swing back and forth, side to side. These feet swing from vine to vine. Whose feet can swing? Orangutan feet. So an orangutan feet have Orangutan feet have five long toes. One of them faces sideways. It is almost like a thumb. So if you look at your hand, you have four long fingers and you have one thumb on each hand. This special toe lets them grab, hold, and swing away. So if you look at the orangutan, it's holding onto the branch, just like you or I might hold onto a branch. And But their arms are really powerful and they're really strong, so they can swing really easily. Plus, they have really long arms, and that makes it easier for them to swing and to catch the branch. Whose feet can dig? Whose feet can dash? Whose feet can hop? Whose feet can hang? Whose feet can splash? Whose feet can swing? Whose feet? Your feet! <laughs> Your feet have 10 toes and 52 bones. They are made for walking, jumping, and running, but that is not all. How many different things can your feet do? Here we learned that different animals have 
different kinds of feet for different reasons because our feet help us to do and move the way that we have to move and help us do the things we need to do. Thanks for reading and see you next time. Bye-bye.